everybody, it's me again. Um, I know I probably have the same look or whatever, but yeah, it's because I'm doing three videos at once or something like that. Same time. Anyway, I wanted to talk about my MAC lipstick collection. Now, I usually I'm slow to the game um, because I don't. I don't know, I'm just behind the times or whatever, and it takes me a little bit to start getting, you know, acclimated into, wow, that, my iPhone just fell, holy crap, that was awesome, I caught it and everything, go me, anyway, um, I only have five MAC lipsticks, and I love every one of them, except one I want to talk about, there's my dogs, that's awesome, they're quiet as heck, as soon as I start filming, it's on and popping. Um, I'm looking for it. I only have five and I can't find it. Okay, there's only one that I really don't like. Um, it's called Snob. See? Snob. Can you see that? Snob. Okay. I was in search of really a pretty pink because at my age they said pink lipsticks make you look youthful. Okay. This lipstick? Not so much. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? When I put it on my lips, I look like, hmm, I look like those Victorian dolls that have been sitting in a closet, you know, in a box full of dust, and their lips are all cracked and worn out and everything. That's what my lips look like with this lipstick. I don't like it. It is a satin finish, but it might be nice for, I think it might be nice for a darker skin than me, because it just, ugh. I don't like it. And then I have Chintz. Chintz. I haven't heard anybody talk about this one, but I, I have it on now, and it is so pretty. It's like a burgundy, a burgundy, really. It's like a bronzy color, but it's got some brown undertones, and it is a frost, and I really, 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 really like that one. My next one is Rebel. Everybody that I've talked to, all the gurus um, that I watch, go on and on about Rebel. But of course, they're in their 20s, you know. They can wear paper sack and, I don't know, Sharpie on their lips and look hot. But anyway, Rebel is super, super, super dark. It's like a burgundy col berry color. Can you see that? Let me try that way, yeah. And if you put it on a lighter then it it's I love it it's really pretty I put on um, one of the lip liners and then I I use it but I don't use it every day it's on everyday color for me um, next one that I'm super loving is called riveting and I haven't heard anybody talk about riveting either um, riveting is a gosh I don't know, a glaze whoa super light okay there's riveting and it is it looks brown, but it has some lavender or like a violet, violet, lavender, a purplish kind of tint to it. comes off really, really beautiful. It's like a, to me it looks like a dark, dark mauve color. Love that one. And my last one is Cherish, which is a satin finish. And it's really pretty. It is a total everyday color. It's a nude color. I use it with my MAC nude pencil in Boldly Bare. Boldly Bare. And I like, I love MAC lip pencils, by the way. They are so creamy. They don't crease. They don't, you know, look all drying and everything. Super, super, super love those. Okay. So anyway, those are my MAC collections on my, my lips. I don't have a lot of MAC. Um, I just don't. I mean, I have maybe 10 items in my collection or whatever. Which, by the way, I'll show my collection if anybody's interested. I'll show you my setup or what have you. It's a work in progress. I'm trying to be organized for 2013. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know. I have high end and I have lower end drug store, drug store, drug store. Hmm. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful, amazing, super duper Saturday and um, just leave a comment, subscribe, 
tell me if you want me to do a tor tutorial. Like I said, I don't have a lot of people that follow me. I'm not a beauty guru or by any means. I'm just 45, regular normal person who loves makeup and loves new things. And anyway, I will talk to y'all later. Take care.